my lovelies and welcome to my channel this is Leanne from Resin Shine Creations today I'll be showing you how I create resin coasters using these beautiful colors from just for you online UK and here you can see I already have premixed my resin and I'm nearly ready to go and today I'll be trying to achieve a marble look so I have my colors and I try to keep them kind of opaque but at the same time see-through and these pigments are excellent for this job because they get like a murky color so it's great Today I chose glass cast 3 resin and it is quite thick resin. As I'll be laying colors over colors, I thought that thick resin will help them not to blend completely. So here I am starting by put down some transparent clear resin and uh, after I go with my heat gun and try to uh, pop all the bubbles and spread it bit out and this is a lovely slate mold from Molten Shapes and it is great because the edges are like slate and I'm always happy to use their molds my friends the technique is really simple uh, just go in color by color and drizzle it into random shapes lines patterns and this will help us to achieve the marble look uh, also, I did premix a little bit of darker blue color. It's because I want just a little line uh, put in there, so it's kind of pop the pattern. And here I'm on with my next color. Just go like this in color by color and fill up the molds until all resin is run out so i will put some music in the background and let you enjoy this process
and that's basically it. Now I'm going lightly over with my torch to pop any bubbles and then it's ready to for curing. As I had left some little parts of resin I decide to make some crystals. Just pouring in randomly and hoping to achieve some nice effects there. I am a big crystal fan and I enjoy looking at them and and it's amazing how nature give them unique patterns that there are not to the same and you never get bored really looking at them. So this is 24 hours later and I'll start to demold my pieces and I start with this blue crystal, cl crystal cluster. It's just dark blue but it's really cute. It's always good to have some crystals around. It's really convenient to add to some pieces. So next to this one, little disasters taking it out. And here they are. I will show you close up just in a little moment. And they came out really funky. Like little ink going through them, little bit opaque. really interesting looking things and now it's time to unmold my coasters so they are quite delicate looking and here it is And they're looking really nice. So I made a couple weeks ago a resin tray with similar colors. And I add a, a sticker of uh, abstract faces on it. So I think I will carry on with this abstract face theme and I will add onto these coasters as well to just make a little bit more interesting and I'll paint the edges silver and hopefully they will come out really nice. So yes, I own a Cricut machine and I did uh, print these designs out and now I will transfer them onto my coasters. And it's never easy for me as every time I'm struggle to, to get it on the transfer tape. And the struggle is always real. So before applying, I spray it with isopropyl alcohol and clean it off any oily patches that may be there.
and here it is on successfully and now I'll show you how I paint the edge it's super easy with uh, a pen I enjoy using just for you online UK pens and here I go Also, I added the top coats and here they are already and I really like them. I think they came out really great. So if you found this video useful and entertaining, please let me know by leaving comment down below. But for now, I'm saying bye bye. Keep creating. Until next time. Bye.